the worst four letter word in business is something that you probably have not ever thought about in that context. It's not profanity. It's not cursing. It's the word just. Let me give you an example of how just is the worst word that can be used in business. Hey, uh, I see you're really close to finishing that deliverable. Thanks so much. Can you just change this piece a little bit? Or maybe it was, hey, I know that we had decided that you were going to have this for us by the end of next week, but timing has changed on our end. Could you just get it in a few days earlier? Now that's coming outside of you from a client. You're recognizing that they don't understand the effort that you are putting in. They are minimizing that effort by thinking that you could do extra or do it faster. However, they're not really being totally transparent or straightforward that they're asking something of you that could be onerous, difficult, or impossible. They're kind of modulating the request with using the word just. On the other side, often women use the word just to feel a little bit less imposing. Just popping in to see if you had a chance to pay that invoice I had sent you a few days ago, or just wanted to know if that feedback that I've been waiting on was ready. So women use it when they are concerned that coming straight at asking for something they are entitled to will somehow be off-putting. And clients use it when they are trying to get something or not do something they've committed to. In either case, the use of the word just is disrespectful. In the first case, it was disrespectful to the person doing the work. And in the second case, it was disrespectful to yourself for not thinking that you have the ability to articulate something that is well within the confines of what it is that the other party has committed to already. I want you to be extraordinarily careful and on the lookout for justs. When you write an email, review it. If you see that you've used just, take it out. Over time, like any habit, it will stop, you will start composing those emails without the word, but at the beginning you may have to do some self-editing. Sit with it for a minute. Ask yourself why you've used just, what is it that you're afraid of? And if you're concerned about something, feel free to articulate that instead. And if you're not really concerned, it's a habit that you've gotten into so as to appear less demanding. Well then work your way out of that habit because there is nothing wrong with being asked or asking for something that you have been promised. On the part of being asked by a client, recognize that there are two ways this can go. The first is they don't understand how much it is that they are asking of you or how difficult it will be to change the deadline. So you can approach them with the idea of, I appreciate that things have changed on your end. I need to explain to you why it is that it's not possible for me to have things a few days earlier or to expand the scope beyond what we discussed. Come from the place of the expert who is letting them understand. Don't be angry, but also don't do what they have asked for if it's outside the possibility of what you can accomplish well and in a way that you feel satisfied with the outcome. If, however, you really feel that they are trying to take advantage, they are trying to take advantage of you that they are asking for things that they and you know full well would be an additional work order or a, a change order to your current scope, then at that moment you can say to them, I appreciate that you need this. This is what it would take to do that time, finances, and the other resources. Are you interested in doing this work around scope change? By doing so, you have called out their just without being angry, without being disrespectful, but letting them know that what they have asked of you is not a small thing, that it is not a just, and that you are open to having a conversation about it, what it looks like, but you are not willing 
to cut to tuck it in as they were suggesting you do because it's really much bigger than that in so doing you will stop using just in your work you will make it clear to people with whom you work that when there is when there are changes that need to be made you're open to it but that you are not going to tuck it in and that thinking of the work you do in any way as a just minimizing it is not going to be the way to build a productive relationship where everybody is happy with the outcome.